heard the fucking news. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> back, <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> shit, look who it is, motherfucker. Damn, you look good, Kay. Your crack ass got big as shit. I'm a late bloomer. You still crazy? You better believe it, <laughs> motherfucker. Look at that. How's business? It's not so good. We got some problems with the RS case. Hey, man, we can talk about business anytime, all right? K just got out, man. We got to take care of him. Hostile, right? We're going to throw him a party. Tommy, tell him what we're going to do. Now you talking. Huh? We're going to throw you one with the biggest asses you have ever seen. That's still your shit, right? Damn yeah, straight. <laughs> Dude, I told you not to eat in my car. I just got off the motherfucking joint. Ain't no savings when it comes to crown fry. You're getting crumbs all over my goddamn ride. Hey, give me a fry. Hell no. I told your dumb ass to order something while we was there. You know a motherfucker steal from me, usually wind up disappearing or getting his ass beat in the shower. Remind me not to get in the fucking shower with you. You've been institutionalized too long. You got a lot of balls, man, trying to come in my stand and hustle me for money. Just then, we made this run. I gave this territory to Ghost and the Tommy, and they gave it to you. The shit is alone. Don't make us collect. How you gonna do that? What? Yo, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. What Kanan is saying is, we ain't your enemies, Q-dubs. We your friends. You know, you, you ain't never been that smart. Ain't, it ain't your fault, man. You don't come from good parents. Right, you know the real reason why they call you quarter water? Because your mama used to charge 25 cents to pull a nigga dick after school. Yo, fuck you, you bitch ass. <laughs> Back in the day, Ghost and I drove a 91 Honda Accord. You shared a car? We got more pussy in that back seat. Back then, Kanan kept us in line. Taught us the business, made us men. Ghost and I owe your father big. That's why you're here. I don't give a fuck what Annabelle said. He's behind these hits. Right now, the retail business is all we got running. We both know that shit alone is not paying the bills. We need to light Annabelle's ass up and turn this fucking tap back on. Honor Ball has always been a person who likes the status quo. I don't see him making a move like that. He's too fucking lazy. It's just as possible somebody's setting him up. You overthink everything, man. We burnt the shit out of that kid, and he told us that fat boy gave him the job. Case closed for me. Kanan would have had this motherfucker toe up already. Yeah, and I ain't fucking Kanan. Come on, man. Ain't no friends out here on these streets. Niggas is hungry, looking for their next meal. They want to take it from you. All of them. Roll it, too. There ain't no friends in the street. Remember that one? Kanan. Yeah, he taught us that. I remember. Hey, yo, Sean! You ready to finally get your dick wet? Tommy. Oh, it's cool, Uncle G. I want to help. Did I ask you anything, Sean? Huh? He ain't ready. Hey, hey the kid handled himself at the meeting, Ghost. Ain't the time we let him step it up like his dad did with us? Kid ain't ready. All right, get out of here. What's wrong with you, man, huh? What's wrong? How's he gonna get ready? Driving you around ain't prepping him for no real shit. Ruiz is too hard of a target. Sean's green, he'll get himself killed. How the fuck are we supposed to explain to Kanan who gets out in the air that he's coming home to no money and no son? Fine, I'll do it. What? I just can't help but think none of this shit would be going down if Kanan were here. If Kanan were here, we'd still be working the corner. Cheer up. But look, man, you and me can't afford to get distracted. Not right now. We gotta keep our heads in the game. Kanan got the right idea about this shit. No more connections we can't just walk away from. Kanan got the right idea about a lot of things. We gotta give his crew the RSK territory, man. He knows what he's doing. He taught us everything we know. You're hanging pretty tight with this Drake here. What you know about him? All I need to know. He stood tall with that serve shit, kept a cool head, only used his gun when it mattered, and a dead shot when he pulled the trigger. He killed the motherfucker that shot Ruiz, this guy, Poncho. As far as I'm concerned, the kid's 100. Kanan spoke for him, and he was right, like always. Is there anything else y'all need from us? We down 100%, man. Anything at all, just let me know. No, but I like the commitment. Kanan knows how to pick him. Party up the chain, man. Last chance since you've been gone, K. Okay? More money, more fun. You like, you like? Uh -huh. Have my hands full back there. Come What's on. up, man? Enough about the party. Uh -huh. You've been restless, man. I'm ready to work. See, I thought you were trying to go legit. I told Tommy, I said, yo, he's trying to become a citizen. What, suit and tie? You know, the whole thing. What's up? <laughs> I'm supposed to work on Wall Street or some shit? <laughs> it ain't built that way, man. I'm ready to hustle. Yeah, but well, we got a lot going on. I'm 
we could use your help on all of it. We want you back on a team. Right, Ghost? Right, right. It's good to hear. Yeah, don't get back out there, okay? Enjoy it. You see that shit? It's all paid for. Paid for? That shit is paid for. We gotta bring Kanan along slowly. You feel me, Tommy? We've been out of the game for a minute, man. Come on. Let me catch up to speed. What the fuck? Yo. Ghost. It's Kanan. He practically raised us. Look. Time and side changes, people. We gotta get the norm again. Get fuck out of here. What are we doing over here? We damn sure ain't about to wash some clothes. It's where we clean our money. So we can pay our rent and shit. Clean your money, huh? Sound like some ghost shit. I was trying to look like a goddamn citizen. Man, hand-to-hand -hand cash is the move when you wash your money. We learned that from you and your car wash. You remember that? <laughs> Ghost ain't never had a good idea he didn't steal from you. <laughs> Hang out, man. I'll be right back. So Ghost is alive? Yeah. If he'd have been dead when I got out like we planned, you'd have met Tommy already. Tommy is? Tommy's a white boy run with Ghost. They tight like a pair of balls. You can't get one without the other. I was gonna play Tommy till he introduced me to the connect and clip his crack ass and run the whole shit. So why we gotta change the plan? Man, fuck that, let's clip Ghost now. Now that I'm out, it'll trace back to me. If we kill Ghost now, we have war with Tommy within a week. We ain't gonna get to the connect like that. This way, the dumb motherfucker will be so happy to see me shit his pants. <laughs> Tommy! Can get out that way, Kanan. I said it myself. Tight like a pair of balls. What well, time? He got a gun too? He ain't here. That wasn't part of the plan, was it? Why he ain't sure? What's up? You saw him. I was hoping to catch you before you bounced. Who's this? Yo, Jay, this Kanan. He used to run with me and Ghost. He just got out. Puerto Rican? Guano. Tell me, go to school with you, I am too. I don't even know how I'm doing. Cool, cool. Hey, uh, let me holler at you real quick, too. Yeah, hey, do your thing. You don't fuck that. How we all family here? Go ahead, Jay. Yo, Cristobal's backing out. Yeah, he asked for a meeting and then said he was gonna find a new connect. Tainos are out, bro. Fuck, is I that don't know about? some shit about there's too much heat on us right now. You hear from Ghost? Yeah, he hit up my cousin's cigar shop down there. Cop and trace me. Because it comes with a coiba on the side. Where? The ghost shot up the club. He's hiding in Little Havana. Ghost went down to Miami to cancel Christmas on her ass. Should've sent you. You know you were sliced up. Make a motherfucker think twice about stepping up again. Finally, someone who speaks my fucking language. Ghost had an excuse to go down there. Something about the nightclub. You asked me, he just wanted to make sure Rolla hired her. He's still thinking about that. It's because they was friends. I told Ghost, your friend betray you, cut him. Don't think twice. I said that to him, too. Hey, where's the head at? And then he starts with the prison tour. It's in the back, around the corner. You tell me about Q-Dubs. How'd that go? Things may have gotten a little out of hand with us in Q-Dubs. What's that? The Q-Dubs and his thugged-out bodyguards are dead. Shot. Don't say shot like it just happened. Like the gun came out of fucking nowhere and just went off. The fuck were you thinking? I'm staying about you, G. The motherfuckers was all over your ass about this roller hit. I shot that nigga for you, man. I'm proud of him. Now my crew could take over that territory. Single-handedly solve this little powder problem you have. You see that, G? I wasn't worried. Pain is all over that shit. And Kane has been behind all the hits on our business the whole time. I think it's revenge. I gotta fill him out more to be sure. So I'm gonna pull him in closely, you know, so I can keep an We're eye. We're not partners anymore, Ghost. You made that clear. You know what? Call Tommy. Tommy's here. It's all fucked up over his girl. I don't know. It feels like he drunk the Kane and Kool Aid. This motherfucker I was telling you about right here, Tommy. Human Torch. 
Heard you blazing my fucking alive not too long ago, bro. Hey, right, so it's trying to steal my money. <laughs> fucking trying to steal shit. Fucking. <laughs> Yo, man, these ribs are off the chain. Y'all know how to do this shit over here. <laughs> this nigga. Motherfucker gonna want some red Kool-Aid and watermelon next, huh? <laughs> you hear this? What is that? Just flash the bat sign. We're ready to take that RSK territory. Tear that shit all the way up. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know. Yo, what the fuck, man? What? What the fuck is that? Tell him. Go ahead. But that's why you can't. It's his tongue. He needed a lesson in holding it. You sure shit wasn't gonna give it to him? The next time I ask you if you could trust a member of your crew, Sure is not an acceptable answer. Can I trust you to do what needs to be done here? No doubt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one other thing. So I did a solid for that Puerto Rican motherfucker, Vibra, right? Yeah, after I did it, he came with an offer about falling back off Ghost and Tommy. No shit. Real shit. Ghost and Tommy got a revolt going on their hands, man. You think we should tell them? Hell no. Right now, we're three moves ahead of Ghost. Mm. Right where we want to be. With the exception of one or two slackers, everyone else came through with their cheese. So you're just sitting on it? Like I said, we need a couple more drops to make the total. Hand it over to Lobo. Back to business. When are you supposed to meet him? Tomorrow. Thank God. I hate having a house full of money and nowhere to put it. Well, I can think of some place to put it. <laughs> Don't get any fucking ideas, Kay. I'm serious. No, it's good to have you back, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ty. Yeah. I ain't been tiny in a minute. Bigger than moving weight. I ain't never dropped this much money off on a connect. Where y'all supposed to meet him at? I don't know. I'm supposed to text Ghost with a spot. Well, why don't I come with you? Back you up. In case this shit don't go right. You said the motherfucker was crazy. Sure as shit, but... I think we're cool. I'm happy with my current situation. That's right. You got that seat at the table with Ghost and Tommy. You should be getting ready for that meeting with Lobos tomorrow. He didn't tell me. It's disrespect, man. There's no way around it. Right. Cutting ghosts and Tommy out means killing them. Well, we know the rules to the streets since we was kids. Tommy is a good man. The ghost tell him to stab you in the back. You must be kidding. I know motherfuckers talk ghosts and Tommy everything they know. Tommy, trust me. I'm surprised Ghost at the Lobos meeting tomorrow. Get Tommy to take me in the room. Once I'm in there, I tell Lobos to his face. Ghost and Tommy done lost control of the organization. With all y'all behind me, we put Ghost and Tommy out the gang forever. I hit you back after once I talk to Lobo. And no, I don't need no backup. I got this by myself. No doubt. Good What the fuck? Angie. Yeah. Fucking rotten, cunt bitch. You ain't never changed. I fucking know everything. Get him out of here. I'm gonna get you, Angela. You started something, bitch. Time to stay scared, Angie. Sean put a gun in my head and tried to kill me last night. Kanan's orders. Bullshit. He's the one that hired a hitter, got Cruz killed, and shot Holly. That was Rolla. The hitter told me what her dying breath it wasn't. I suspected Kanan. <clears throat> Wasn't until last night I was sure. He thinks I'm the reason he went inside. He needed his time to be someone's fault, so he made him on. If that was true, why didn't he just cap us when he got out? Because he wanted the business back. He needed to learn how it worked. What you taught him. Oh, shit. He asked to come to the Lobos meet. He wanted me to take him. Of course he did. The Lobos on the inside, kanan has got to find another connect and take us out. It's his only play. Unless he still trusts you.
What's up, Kay? I missed something? Can't trust any nigga who can sprung that fast. I ain't no snitch, motherfucker. Why you here? So I come straight here because I know it's fucking ghosts that dime me out. Ghost did that same shit to me. Set me up. Put me in 10 years so he can run the hustle his way. Yeah, but Ghost wasn't there the night you got popped. Ghost took the bulb out the taillight so I could pull it over with the weight. The anonymous tip came from a woman, Tasha. From Tasha? Really? Why didn't you tell me, man? I thought you might have been in on it. I know you ain't now. Well, Lobo is still in lockup, but that ain't gonna stop him from moving away. So I can't run with that motherfucker by myself. I need you, okay? No doubt. And now that I know how Ghost treats his friends, I'm thinking it might be better to be his enemy. While he's still walking around, you know what I mean? I told Kane and I was down to kill you. He definitely thinks you set him up. He said Tasha was in on it, too. He's out of his goddamn mind. You know, prison does that to you. Friends turn into enemies. No doubt. Kane is dead, huh? Yeah, I figured it'd shake out that way. I gave you the drop. Where the fuck were you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I could have been killed. I was hanging out with her. You can't trust her. No, I can't trust you. You paid her to leave. She's trouble, man. Just like Kanan was trouble back in the day? Like I was trouble when I wouldn't help you kill Lobos? You think I'm fucking stupid, don't you? Just like Kanan did. I don't think you're fucking stupid. What is going on with you? I mean, I know you and Ghost got beef, but that ain't got shit to do with me. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I had a little chat with Kanan before he kicked. He had a pretty fucking interesting theory about how we got sent up in the first place. You want to hear it? A little story about a broken taillight and an anonymous tip from a woman? <laughs> Look, Tommy, I don't know what Kanan... He even tried fucking lying to me. Go throw the cop to the two you sitting him up. Just eat your goddamn pancakes. Okay. You want to talk about lying? How long was Ghost fucking Miss Puerto Rico before you told me, hmm? Oh, wait, you never did. You lied to me about Kenan for 10 years, like it was a fucking Trump. Tommy, we couldn't tell you, okay? I mean, the fewer people who knew about Kanan, the better. We had to do what was best for you, for everyone. Best for me? Oh, maybe that's why Ghost started fucking Angela. He was just doing what was best for you. Wow. It's like that. Yeah, motherfucker falling off, man. I should have known. Couldn't even take care of that bitch in Miami. I mean, a bitch. He didn't kill that girl in Miami? Seems like this motherfucker been lying to you for a long time. I wonder what else you don't know. Come on, let's head to the back. Talk about how we're gonna step the Lobos. Hey, Ghost, still think you trust him? Yep. I think I just figured out how we're gonna lay this motherfucker down. He also said we can't call the police about Tariq. He's right, guys. No fucking cops. <laughs> There's no way this could be Kanan, right? Kanan is dead, Tasha. I mean, look, him and Ghost walked into that warehouse. There ain't no way that Ghost walks out of there if Kanan's still breathing. Yeah, you're right about that shit. Besides, if he was still alive, he would have shot us all by now. I mean, unless he found Jesus and got a complete personality transplant. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Kanan is dead. Now, speaking of which, I hope you're staying away from Tariq now, though. Ghost and Tommy gonna try to kill us both, man. Ghost inside, he ain't killing shit. And Tommy, he ain't gonna come looking for me. He is if you keep fucking with Tariq. I don't fucking understand. You said you set Kanan on fire. I How did. the fuck is he still alive? Half of him is fucking burned, Tommy, okay? His guard, his face, his chest, his arms, arms. Holy shit, Tasha was right. What's Tasha got to do with this? The night that you got locked up, that Tariq went missing. Yeah, okay. She didn't tell you. Tasha got a ransom demand. The picture had Tariq all passed out with this big-ass, crispy arm around him. Tasha asked me if it could be Kanan, but then Tariq showed up safe and sound. He said it was a fucking joke. Fuck. Look, Tariq lied to you. Kanan's got his mind all fucking twisted out. And remember Jukebox? Yeah, that fucking crazy bitch. That one. She kidnapped him. So Kanan fucking shoots her to save Tariq's life. Because this story is so fucking weird. If you were anybody the fuck else, for any other fucking reason, you'd be dead right now. I know. Tariq, let me ask you something. Did Dre know that Kanan was alive? Did Dre see you and Kanan together? Or was he telling the truth? 
that he picked you up on some corner the night your dad was arrested. So then, I mean, can you stay out of sight? Dre didn't know, and I ain't told Yo, what's up, Dre? What's up, Doc? Yo, how long you known Kanan was alive and in New York? Kanan's alive? Don't play stupid with me, Dre. Him and Jukebox picked up Tariq yesterday. They almost killed the kid. Yo, who the fuck is Jukebox? I don't know what you're talking about, Tommy. Look, is Tariq I? Oh, yeah, he's fine. No thanks to you. I didn't know about Kanan. Yeah, I was being a dick first. <laughs> Hold up. It's OK. I didn't know you was back in town. Tell the old motherfucker go inside. Don't concern him. This shit is about you and me. All right. All right. Fuck you doing, Kay? Go tell me you split after you killed Jukebox. The fuck you doing in town now? I had unfinished business. I come back here to find this shit. Yo, what the fuck? This your idea of a welcome home present? Hell no. I just told you that I didn't know you was in town till right now. How am I going to send them out to meet you? But more importantly, you saved Tariq's life. According to both him and Ghost, we ain't got no beef. You see that ink? That's Taino's. These motherfuckers are crystal balls, guys. The fuck is crystal ball? He took over for Anna Ball, head of the Taino's. One of my former Primeras. He and Dre, they tight like this. Dre. He knew I was coming back. I'm gonna take care of this shit. I'm gonna go out of town, I'm gonna put a crew together, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna fuck Dre up. And that crystal ball bitch, too. You let me go back inside, I might be able to get some local backup. Y'all still busy? Huh? Might want to get like a marriage counselor or something. Yeah. All right. Fuck you, motherfucker. Okay, what's up? Yeah? Yeah, well, you want to roll on Dre, I'm down for whatever. Oh, we're going to do that with the quickness as soon as I get back up there. But that ain't why I'm calling. I think I know who killed Ghost Little Girl. The fuck you talking about? When I was up there getting to know Tyreek, we hit licks with this cat named Ray Ray, Raymond Jones. Dirty cop wanted you box friends. Why would he sue Rayner? I don't know. But Tariq called me asking how can he find him. Now the little nigga ain't answering his phone. Either he went looking for Ray Ray, or Ray Ray came looking for him. I need to find Ray Ray. Where he stay at? Oh, fuck! Shoot the fuck in the mid ass, man. We can't just roll up and shoot the motherfucker. It's gonna take more planning, more soldiers. I got some guys with me. That ain't gonna be enough, Kay. I may have some people. Anybody feel like Italian? We need to find somebody that can't be traced to us in case that Menez figured out. Shit, I could do it. Dre don't even know I'm alive. He get dead, and whoever the Menez is, they don't even know to look for me. They never heard of my ass. Smart, Kay. Yeah, as long as Dre hasn't figured out his Taino hitters never made it back home. Morning. Whoa, whoa. How we know we can trust you, Kay? You set me on fire, nigga, not the other way around. Yeah, but Kay, you ain't a forgiving type, nigga. You know that. I could have shot you both 20, 11 times already. Get out the way, man. So we can figure out how to kill a slow light skinned nigga. Trey's the problem, right? Right. But was Tariq already there when y'all clipped Ray Ray? You saw y'all do that shit? No, Tariq wasn't there. We got to Ray Ray first. Tariq out there after. How's he hanging in there with the sister and all? Yeah, you know. He good. Don't worry about Tariq, K. Family got his back. So it's like you forgetting the finding call. Tariq could be dead. I also know that Tariq never would have met this Ray Ray motherfucker if you didn't introduce him. You stop fucking with Tariq, K, and you and me, we cool. Remember the time he had that little African albino motherfucker he brought around back in the day? <laughs> he thought he found another white boy like him in the hood. <laughs> Tommy's always looking for somebody to take care of. Yeah, that was your job. What you two talking about? You. you. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what the fuck happened with the job? Turn your volume down, motherfucker. My boys did their part. 
They said, Dre saw him coming like somebody warned him or something. Took off running like a little bitch. The Italian boy fucked this up. Bullshit, Tommy. The real question is, who could have warned him? I don't know. And then what happened? My nigga said he heard some gunfire pop off. I'm thinking the Italians killed Dre on the spot. And I come out and find this shit on my windshield. I got one, too. Put mine in my coat pocket while I was wearing it. How the fuck didn't you shoot him? I was at Rainer's gravesite. It wasn't strapped. I seen guards like this dropped on people inside the joint. So I don't know who's from. It's the Menez K. Dre saying that Menez got his back. Fuck this Spanish niggas. I ain't scared of nobody. What the fuck? And who the fuck is this guy? I'm an old friend. Well, old friend. Now you're in it, too. Killing the Jimenez should be our top priority. No, I'd rather shoot Dre in his face. <laughs> we can't just keep following Dre around and expect him not to catch on. I got a better idea. You know his nigga 2-Bit? Yeah. yeah. Him and Dre beefing. Got into a little scrap the other day. How you know, Kenny? Okay? I've been watching Dre moves. I thought we were supposed to be working together on that. I'm sharing with the goddamn class, ain't I? I think I could turn that 2-Bit motherfucker. At least get him to tell me when Dre gonna meet with that menace. Unless Dre already told him what's up and he shoots you in the face and gets a goddamn out of boy from Dre. No small town motherfucker like that gonna get the drop on me. <laughs> you forget who you're talking to. Okay. I'm good. All right. You know, after Dre did, he ain't got no skin in the game. Tell me something I don't know. Hey, let me in on that product. Help you move fast so you can pay Jason. Take some weight off your hand today. I'm doing all right, so I'm through there at time. What you think I am? And no offense, Kay, but if I do bring you in on this, you're gonna have to pay up front. Just like everybody else. Mobsters who snitch in the jail. <laughs> but why you give a fuck? You know some shit about you? He's my dad. Shit, you mafia? That's how you know the Italians? So this means you gonna get us like money suits and shit like that? Would you stop, <laughs> Kay, man? You play too much. So when you find out you got a dad? I don't know. Not long ago. So don't trip and don't waste it. I ain't never had one. I don't know. Go to a ball game or some shit. Fuck you, man. Y'all could play catch or something. He picked a drug dealer for his father, Tasha. He brought the boy into this life before the little nigga was born. You still look good, though. I bet you like to fight back. And you like that. If you fuck with me, you better kill me, nigga. Because I swear to God, you best believe I will get you back. I believe you. What's up, y'all? I'm just chopping it up about all the time. Fuck you, Kanan. And fuck you, too, for bringing him into our lives. I'm your family, not him. What the fuck did you just say to her? Nah, she just tripping. Stay here. Jason ain't gonna wait forever. What about your dad? He out now. Maybe he can help us. Teresi's out? Yeah, ain't no big deal. You standing here telling me it ain't no big deal? I know what you're thinking. I talked to Proctor. He said it's 100. How long has Proctor known about this? A couple days, maybe. But let's deal with the real problem here. I got Jimenez, <laughs> not Tony. K, you mind if I have a minute to wrap with Tommy alone? What about all that we working together bullshit? Come on, K, you know it ain't bullshit. We working together. Just a minute. So now you want to talk. Yeah, come on, Kay. It was about Teresi and the Italians. You know how Tommy is. Once somebody gets in his head, he can't think straight. Tommy said he was worried Teresi might be a snitch. Well, he told me he's got that under control. Tommy got a daddy now. Shit better than having a new puppy. <laughs> He was meeting me here. I got you. Well, good thing you showed up. What the fuck was this? Who's shooting us here, huh? I don't fucking know, but we might not be the only ones who got hit tonight. I'm gonna go check on Teresi, make sure that he's all right. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, you better follow us. And then, fucking shot Sammy. But there was no bullets in the gun. It was a fake out, like some twisted fucking lesson. Anyway, the Italians are out, gone. I mean, they're done with me. I'm fucking fucked. And I ain't even 100% sure it was Dre. Oh, it was Dre. It was definitely that nigga. A good thing that Vincent only got shot in the arm. I'd be dick deep in dirt right now if Dre's boys killed anybody. 
Your Italians is luxury. I'm a functional nigga. Because they could have got God. All of them. I dropped them niggas. K saved the motherfucking day. Why were y'all meeting? We was going to talk Jimenez shit. You know, I had eyes on the Jimenez, but I couldn't do nothing about it because you were still on this Teresi shit. See the forest for the trees, motherfucker. If we get rid of the Jimenez. You ain't never got to worry about Teresi ever again. And we don't ever have to associate again. You don't believe that bullshit. And the ghost is like that little bitch from Charlie Brown, always moving the ball. Maybe the best way to get Dre is to push him out of his own organization. Where it is this been trouble with Christopher, head of the Tyanos. He been outshining Dre to the Jimenez. Maybe we helped that beef along. Nah. Even if we did, now we need Ghost to get the drop on Dre. Now, Ghost got you believing you can't do nothing without him. Look, hit me up when you want to talk about the Jimenez or expansion. I got shit to do today. Dre thinks that Alicia will still work with us after Diego get his ass smoked. I ain't too sure about that shit. Well, you know I'm fucking with Tommy. He got a Serbian today. So you can just eat with us. All right. Wait, Serbian? We both about to lose out tonight. Dre is clipping that Serbian tonight at the LeBlanc Hotel. What the fuck he wanted to do that for? Nah, Dre ain't clipping nobody. Jason got to stay alive because I'm going to take over Tommy's spot in this organization. Now, Jimenez found out you wanted him dead. I had your back. Niggas Ghost and Tommy was stalling and shit. They ain't down for you, but I did what you told us to do. That is a big move doing it on your own. What do you want? Tommy's position in your organization. You gonna take Tommy out? Tommy and Ghost will take each other out. You pull that off, then we can talk about you taking over the spot. But you gotta earn it. And I need to know I can trust you. How the fuck did you get the drop on Diego? Last minute opportunity. We had to move fast. Without telling me? Just call Jason and buy some time. Yeah? What if he don't believe me? Got the niggas head if you want it. It's all nice if you want it for proof. Uh, yeah. I got some shit to do. I dropped the head by later. OK. Yo, Tommy. Listen, brother, I need your help on something, but Kenny can't know about it. You always keep it secrets. I'm trying to frame Dre. 40, 60, 80, 100. Yeah, yeah. I know how much it was. <laughs> how the fuck did you make that shot? <laughs> Yo, your game is on today. I've been thinking about this shit. How did you and Ghost get close enough to Diego Jimenez to pull that trigger? Well, when I can come up with Dre when Diego did. Ghost made a deal. With Dre? Why the fuck would he do that? Why well, is not the question? What you should be asking yourself is, what's Dre's side of the deal? Who's supposed to get dead? Me? You? What up, fellas? What's up, Ghost? Good time. I need to rap with you for a minute. Okay, you mind if we had a room? You always send a motherfucker out the room like a goddamn kid. Like you forget who taught you the game in the first place. Yo, Kay, you ain't got to go. I was headed out anyway. Y'all play nice. Okay. Back in the days, me, Tommy, and your pops used to run this block. We was around your age. We sell the crack 100 miles an hour up the street. So the cops started to know our faces. Every time they sent us, they used to hop out, run down on us. Ghost be gone for we could even think to run this shit. See, he, he ain't trying to outrun the cops. He just figured as long as he could outrun me and Tommy, the cops would settle for us. Nigga, always think about himself. It's worked for him so far. Vladimir, Drifty, Roller, then Diego, now Kanan. He said you'd do this. He saw you coming. When's it stop? How many of my people you plan on killing without telling me? I am responsible for this, man. I should set this up with the big 
You gonna blame your wife and kid? You really expect me to believe you ain't had nothing to do with this? Rest in peace, you tough bastard. Go get the strap.